All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can create your own tessellation. Now, we are using this site here called Mathagon. Uh, it's, it works really well. It's really easy to use as far as making and building tessellations. And I'm going to walk you through um, uh, how to make your own tessellation. I'm going to kind of start making one that I was working on today. Um, now, this one is one that's already set up for you. You can, you can choose this one from your library. Now, I want you to build your own, but this is an example of a tessellation. Notice we have different kinds of shapes, but that there's no space showing, that, that they all create um, like kind of an even floor map here. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and delete this one. So I'm going to click and drag to go over all of it. I'm going to hit this little delete button and I'm going to start fresh. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start with some octagons. Okay? And let me zoom in a little bit so that way we uh, see a little better what we're doing. So I'm going to start with some octagons. Let's put one down here and let's put a hexagon on top. We'll put an octagon on top of that. I'll put a hexagon. Now, notice I can take this and I can kind of twist it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a hexagon here. And instead of getting a second one, I'm going to hit Control C to copy it, okay, and Control V to paste a new one. Okay, same here. Control C, Control V. Notice I'm just going to go ahead and kind of make this the whole way round. Okay. Now, there's lots of different ways to make a tessellation, but this is kind of the way that I'm, I'm going about it. Now, I've got this shape in here. Now, I could try to put like a pentagon in here, but let's see if that really works for us. So I put a pentagon. Notice how it just doesn't quite, it almost lines up, but notice how it's kind of overlapping a little bit on my hexagons here. So uh, I'm not going to use a pentagon. You could try using a pentagon, but I, I don't think that's going to work super well for you. So instead, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to try this shape here. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay. And let's go ahead and get one facing the side here. I'm going to control C, control V. Now that one's actually not quite straight. Let me see if I can get it straight. There we go. Let's flip this one to the other side. I could also use this little flip button. Kind of flips it back and forth, left and right. If I wanted to. All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right, let's get one more. Okay. And let's make sure we get nice and straight. Here we go. If you don't get it quite nice and straight, you're going get to get some kind of uh, overlapping polygons in a way that's not a lot of fun. Now, notice I've still got some white space to deal with here. Now, there's lots of different things. If you wanted to leave some white space like this and keep it as part of your design, that's fine by me. Let me just show you one other tool on here. So most of this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to actually use this little pentagon tool, and I'm going to stick it right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move these points. They'll kind of lock in place, and they'll actually let me kind of turn these into triangles or... Uh, you know, kind of make them into what I want to make them into. So here we go. Let's look at that. Okay, so now I've kind of cleaned up that space with this shape right here. So what I'm going to do, oops, let me do it. I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy that shape. And now this is my new shape. I'm going to go ahead and flip that here. I copy that, paste it, and then let's flip it this way. So it fits right there. Okay, so that's not quite turned right, but let's see if we can get it. Uh, not quite. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then let's copy that. We'll paste it, um, and we'll flip. All right, so now I've got kind of like a base sh image here, okay? I do have a little bit of white space here in the middle. Um, you can mess around with that, try to get rid of it if you want, but I'm going to go with this. Now, take a look at this. Now I've got my basic tessellation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole thing. I'm just going to paste it like that. Now, here's something else you can do. Actually, before we do that, I can also go in here and I can change the colors. Let's say I want to stick with this kind of blue and green theme. I can go through here and change all my colors to a nice light green. I'll change all these guys to a nice light blue, okay? But you could do this whichever way you want it, okay? And you don't have to change any of the colors if you don't want to. But if you want to kind of make something pretty or something colors that you like, I like blue and green, and you could do that too. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this, and then look what I can do. I can actually just kind of overlap them just like this. 
Okay, and I'm going to take this whole thing and I'll copy and paste it. And I can put it you know, down below. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I can keep doing this. I can keep just copying, pasting, and making this larger and larger. And I can start, you know, zooming out here. And let's take a look. Oh, I seem to have a pentagon here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, but I can just take this whole thing, copy and paste it again. And you can kind of make a, a whole tessellation like that. And you got to make sure that when you copy and paste it, that you're, you're doing it correctly um, or that you're landing it on top. Because if I kind of mess it up like that, that does not look as good. You can kind of see the border here. So um, let's try this again. Let's put it over here. Keep sliding it over. All right. And let's just go ahead and you can kind of use two fingers to kind of scroll. And then if we wanted to, let's go ahead and zoom in here and we'll kind of just make this whole screen, the tessellation. And then you can kind of see something like this. So here we go. Here's my tessellation, it covers up the whole screen. Uh, it's got, it's made up of these shapes, um, but you can make yours however you want. The library here actually has some really cool looking ones, okay? So this is the one that I made. I think it's kind of nice. You could use lots of different shapes um, and having that one with the Pentagon that you can kind of change the shape really helps you out when you get some of these weird shapes. Okay, so they've got ones here like the star tile one. Notice they just got all these stars and triangles. So that one's kind of cool. They've got uh, one with these interesting little tiles that make a design, uh, ones with fractals. And this is not necessarily tessellation unless you took this um, and then like kind of pasted them together to cover the whole thing. So um, yeah, they've got some cool stuff, but what I want you to do, here's, here's, the, if, here's the big thing. I want you to make your own tessellation, okay? So using the different shapes, you can play around with it. It doesn't have to be super fancy. Uh, but I do ideally want it to be something more. I don't just want, hey, here's a square, you know, and, and here's another square. I'm just going to make squares the whole way around like this, okay, because that's kind of boring. I actually try and try some different stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be the whole screen. It can just be a little bit. And if you can't get it, that's okay too. But just give it a shot here. Um, and when you're done, screenshot it, put it on Google Classroom so I can take a look. Um, there's also this download image, so you can always download uh, your your work as well if you wanted to upload it that way instead of using a screenshot. If you have any questions, let me know. Just want you to have some fun trying some different polygons, uh, trying some different tessellations. Uh, this is an assignment, so you'll get a grade for completing it. So just take a little bit of time. It's a whole lot easier than necessarily doing some math problems. So have fun. Hopefully you enjoy this um, just as much as I did.